Hello and welcome to Red Bull Metropolis, a brand new tournament with a little bit of a difference. Four top streamers are going to go head to head and put their urban planning prowess to the test in a series of custom made maps and challenges designed to test their creativity, knowledge and skill. Arty has managed to flood his city oh. three minutes into the competition. We can maybe quickly go over to Biffa because he's getting very close here. He's actually being quite effective in the way that he's building up his city. This is looking like an actual city. We can actually listen into the spiffing Brit now for a couple of seconds. So let's see what he has to say about his plan. Airports make people happy, right? So just a whole bunch of these. Have you ever sense, been to Heathrow? Surely. That place does not make me happy. What do you want about? I think a lot of things work with Quill is about you know measuring 17 times and then cutting once. He's very oh. focused. I mean, this is He's competitive city skylines on the highest level. Looks like Spiffing and RT are going for the uh, maximizing airport strategy, whereas Biffa is giving his best with his quadrants. And so far, it's looking pretty good. It seems Ooh. like Biffa has it all sorted. It seems like he might be able to run away with four points here. Would you want to live in a city that was built up in 30 minutes, though? I, I, I don't know. I don't think I, don't think I want to. This will stop any <laughs> waves from coming in, for sure. He, he probably saw I the mean, tsunami and he's like, I don't want this to happen to me. I'm building a wall. Uh-oh, uh-oh. And uh -oh. it's tsunami time! No, oh, oh, that over. is man-made. That is man-made. This is like an ISARS Productions video here. It's it's all going <laughs> to hell. There it is. We have our first 30 minutes done. And not going to lie, a lot of really unexpected things happening with us uh, yes. today. And Biffa with four points, three points for the Spiffing Brit, two for RT Game, and one for Quill. 18. I mean, look, those tsunamis were so upsetting, but I gotta say, as someone who lives pretty much underneath the flight path of Heathrow, I find those airports absolutely horrifying. It is on to our next challenge, round two of Red Bull Metropolis, the seat of learning. Biffy <laughs> Brett doing something quite interesting really um he decided yeah, we to not can. level the mountain he decided to use it as a base <laughs> oh we're gonna spend a lot of time leveling this out but trust me it's gonna be worth it because this is gonna be the centerpiece of the university the fact that it's on this really nice looking hill i'm gonna want to level all of this area off back here as well there we go just have it sitting out over the uh over the area and we're bam we can do it it's up there oh it's up there oh Perfect. It's something completely different. Uh, I was thinking for a moment he was trying to make the logo of the Olympic Games, but that is not really what he's going for. There's a lot of circles in there. Very philosophical from Biffa to really bring us such depth and detail to his build today. Let's go over to Quill, shall we? He's currently on the bottom Ooh. of the leaderboard, so has an opportunity to try and fight back. And it looks like he's going for a classic way of doing things, integration in some old North American cities. Look at those pretty lines that are going through the little forest around the campus. Look at making that. It Look at that here. attention to detail. Is right? that an airfield? Is that, oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, how many of you fly to Come your to university? Uni Is this a North American thing? <laughs> interesting school <laughs> it's gonna be a crap it's lake. a freshwater outlet okay bro don't worry about it is is it is it's... it a freshwater outlet oh, some nice some nice trees at least to uh to cover up the smell here is the spiffing brits town which not gonna lie there is a canyon going through the middle of it rt game has a pretty decent looking arts campus it's pretty impressive not gonna lie he's flooding his city at the last very final option you see all that water going over that is definitely not looking good no, oh, he's gonna make no. extra light. there's no way that this is stopping there's 20 seconds left for him to try and fix this and it seems like he's just making it all worse here five four three two <laughs> one you threw it all away honestly i don't know how this will be just because this was man-made 
Now, I was going to say Spiffing had a really good opportunity on winning this one based on how he, you know, built it on top of a mountain. It, lo it looked quite cool. It was the centerpiece. Yeah. He had some smaller pieces, of course, around it, but then he decided to flood everything. Wow, that is such a beautiful university that is built up. So much green, so much lusciousness with the stadium as the centerpiece for it all. An airport as well, just in case. Started out a bit questionable with a meteor crater hitting him, but it turned into a bit of a pond at the bottom of the mountain. Now, swimming pool all there, bunch of university services ready. The McQuill University, you called it right here. <laughs> um, looking quite beautiful. Well integrated into the city as well, you have to say. I think the only thing you might not be scoring too many points on here is the creativity. It started out as a nice little mountain piece university, you know, that's a centerpiece, as he said himself. In the end, however, he decided to, uh, you know, we always say don't play with fire, but I think uh, for City Skyland so far, it's do not play with water. Look at that, Biffa yeah. on that first place. It's spiffing Brit still, even though he managed to, you know, almost flood his entire uh, city on 13 points. Well, I really did love those designs, particularly Biffa's. I mean, who doesn't want to go to university in the middle of a crop circle? Anyway, we are already racing into round three. And in this round of Red Bull Metropolis, our players are going to be taking on a challenge that we're going to call Viking Mayhem. We are watching RT game, and, and the first thing that happened, apparently, when he managed to find out what the uh, challenge was, is he looked up for a quick guide, and the first one that popped up was Biffas. So uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be interesting to yeah. see if the student beats the master. I think if I'm seeing some elevated bike lanes that he's currently using to run right next to that main road. Spiffing Brit is... Um, working on a disaster. He currently has 26,000 people left living there. He lost a lot of people. Is this an exploit gone wrong? It's all about bikes, all about lanes, and Quill has decided to up the ante. He will build his own system, his own road network that already has all of this into it. Go! What has go! He done? RT game! What? Was hast what du gemacht? Have done? What is that? RT! The population is stable. <laughs> the po the population is Keep very stable. Keep it paused. I mean, that, would be the <laughs> that would be the best way to make sure the population doesn't die, but the population seems to be quite happy with the current situation <laughs> they live in. Four points to Man. the winner, one to the loser. Uh, a bit of a penalty, you know, 50% of your points taken away if you had a more than 5% population loss. Let's go over to the city view. It's RT Games. We're heading into first. The man who managed to plot parts of the city, build it into a mountain. Quill 18 with his beautiful bike that has been built up. 1600 yeah, he's had a total, 1,569. Yeah, something around that. So the spiffing Brit who managed to get and I surprise you not, 1,738 wow. cyclists. Wow, it's Biffa who currently stands at 2,129 cyclists in total. Damn. The points have been put in. Biffa on number one. Quill is currently overtaking him on 16 points. And then we have Spiffing Brit currently in third place with 15 points. On to challenge four. It's gonna ask our players to use their skill creativity and knowledge of city skylines to optimize the road network in a busy city at a standstill. trying to optimize these roundabouts, trying to optimize the roads with priorities uh, to make sure that, well, these ambulances can get wherever they are necessary because you do not want people to die on you because these ambulances come too late. Spiffing Brit is building bridge over bridge over bridge. There you go, it's, it's impossible oh, See, there it comes, the water is oh, flowing no! over. That is gonna be completely ruining everybody that's driving over there. Oh no, the it's the city itself! Oh no, it's getting the town as oh, well! No, Biffa! Biffa! 
This might be a bit of an end. Water is starting oh, to settle no. down for now at least, but a flood has definitely started. Quill and RT game are very close. There's Quill is only one point above RT game in all of this. Ladies and gentlemen, feast your eyes upon this monstrosity of a building. Welcome to regular left. day in RT Plays' uh, YouTube <laughs> career, by the way. If you don't watch RT Games videos, this is pretty much what it is, no matter the game. And Traffic that is doesn't in seem general. to be gem, though. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is a pause on our time. The roads, the bridges, just going all over the water, trying to take out the as much of the traffic as you possibly can. By pure 3 billion IQ plays, reduced the speed on the highways to allow people to kind of not crowd as much. Hey, I'm going to add some highways, a few connections here or there to the main highway, but ferries is the name of the game. And beyond that, a lot of micromanaging signals. RT Game has broken the game. And with his uh, beautiful web, uh, I guess, way of doing things here with intersecting highway bridges. It's 21 points for the Spiffing Brit. Or Biffa, oh. sorry. 18 for the Spiffing Brit. 18 for Quill 18. And 16 for RT Game. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a tie at two and three. And RT Game has recovered so many points. We are on to our penultimate challenge, and this one is called Parks or Recreation. And uh, yeah, we're gonna treat ourselves to a little bit of Park Life DLC. Normally, would say a meteor is unplanned for in your uh, city, you know, city planning issue, stuff like that. In the case of RT Game, those will definitely be planned for. It's just a matter of time now until they strike. Meteor. That's fine. It's fine. We just work with the meteors. Okay, and now we amaze them, right? They made a key here this time. Get rid of that. Well, let's see. Um, let's see how they're going to be able to uh, to come back from that, Milos. Let's go over to uh, to Quill 18, who is uh, seeming to be building a bit of a racetrack, a bit of a familiar one if you're oh. a fan of the F1. Oh, it's you're an located F1 fan? in Austria. I am really loving that. That actually reminds me a lot of uh, Katowice, and where I used to live before, and the highway system that actually runs through the center of it. One of my favorite things about challenges like this, and this is, um, you know, a final one before we decide the two grand finalists that get to move through is that we get to see the real creativity of our mayors here. So I've never seen trucks race on Red Bull Ring. It might be an interesting one to get all those team trucks, you know, that, that uh, go oh from, uh, from circuit to circuit. That pit you see there with the roads going over it, that's going to be filled up by a bunch of trees and it's going to be set to fire at some point. <laughs> um, Let's get some bamboo trees around here. Get them around uh, the zoo as well because, you know, it makes sense. We got a panda enclosure. What do pandas eat? Guess what? They eat a whole bunch of um, whole bunch of bamboo. Actually, looks very pretty. So you have the ring, you have park and recreation. Man, Biffa has got it all. The man is on point. It's starting to look quite well, actually. Just a couple of ruins here, just some meteors there, a bit of landscaping going on as well. Just, you know, wants to uh, really make this a thematic park, you know, to learn about like um, astrology, maybe even as well. Spiffing Brit has lit everything on fire and Quill has set himself up for success. Honestly, I think there's a lot of creativity in this. There's going to be a lot of subjectivity as well and seeing, okay, well, yes, how can you rate it if it's about how pretty everything came out at the end. Let's get into the city view and let's go to Spiffing Brit first. So there is the Spiffing Brit with his Shanghai style Western inspired Japanese garden city center with a cable network running through the middle and the bonfire, the hell pit. As you can see on the right hand side, we have the Red Bull Ring that of course is originally located inside of Austria. However, Biffa was the second player to come up with this ID. So it's probably a good idea that he has focused a lot of his attention into the second half of the park as well, which is a little bit differently. 
this one was the one that was struck by Meteors originally. He started off by throwing down four of them and then decided to work in design of the back of that one. The lake, as you see on the top of your screen, was of course uh, made by one of those Meteors and the rest has been decorated nicely. A beautiful racetrack on the edge of town as well. A recreation, as best as possible, of the Red Bull Ring in Austria. Details are not too shabby, even naming his uh, little region. Scores ready. Let's see who goes top. Oh, oh my. Biffa at 33, Quill at 29, the Spiffing Brit at 28, and finally RT Game at 27. It's so close and neck and neck, but we have our grand finalists. It's Biffa and Quill 18. Our final challenge is going to be played on the Natural Disasters DLC. It's going to be an interesting one, I have to say. You know, will our players save the city, Patrick? Or, you know, is everything going to go disastrously wrong? Well, here's Milos and Hap to tell us more. Looks like Biffa has a big advantage going into this. Well, he had, but the winner takes all Milos. So the four-point lead he managed to build up is going to be completely annihilated. And what you see right now is you see... Uh, you see Quill putting down some shelters, some, some safety measures. Biffa setting up with his city and a wall will be coming up to try and protect it here. That is going to be the anti-tsunami wall because we've, we've had quite a couple of the tsunamis already. Oh, here it is, right in the middle. Did I put any disaster things in this area? <laughs> There's either one place I didn't put one. Get in! Okay, I did, I did put a few, but I was also worried about the high ground stuff. So we do have a few, like over here, for example, but it might be a good idea to just make sure we have a crap ton everywhere. What we see Biffa do is actually prepare for a lot of water. So he's dug down the, um, the, uh, the rivers to be a lot deeper to make sure that if a uh, excess of water will be coming in, that will be easily uh, able to flow away. An earthquake, earthquake. Uh, seems to be happening. Oh, in the city center itself. The convention area and oh, man. Oh, look at that. The fault line is showing and it's going through. Oh, that hurts so much. But you know what? It's so pretty to see that destruction happen at the same time. All right, let's play it up. Biffa, it's all in for weather and it's not looking good, but he's going to put up those uh, huge earthing rods in uh, the ground and make sure that they can control as much of those lightning bolts as possible. I think we can name this the Great Wall of Quill, where he's building a giant wall. Now, we've known from previous rounds that if you do oh this my. bit to, you know, you could potentially <laughs> flood your entire city. Oh, there he comes. Let's turn on the sound. Turn on the nuclear. <laughs> Indeed. A meteor strike has occurred. It's occurred. I know, I know. What? Why are people dropping so much? He's down to 65k. That's minus oh, no. 11,000 right now. He's having a death oh, wave my, coming the death through. Wave. Minus 12,000. That is something we haven't imagined yet. And where is it coming from? There's a minute left on the One clock. One minute left. It, they are neck and neck. A thousand separating the two. But Quill has rebuilt so quickly over the past few minutes. They're so focused here to get all of this together here. Oh my, Quill 18 is so close to the W here. The game will be passed in five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one. Let's find out who the winner is. The winner is. Oh, Biffa, Yay! let's go. Biffa, congratulations. And I've got the winner and runner up right here, right now. Congratulations to both of you because that was an amazing competition. Oh, one point in it as well, Quill. That is fantastic. Well done. I love the game but I know how good these guys are. And I mean, obviously Biffa. I thought the competition was always going to be who was going to come in second to Biffa. What are your top tips for success? 
practice a load. I mean, that's the thing. I had all these different ideas for some of these challenges. I'm going to, I want to try this. I want to try that. And it does all go to pot when the pressure's on, uh, trying to do everything quickly. But I mean, if you want to do challenges like this yourself, I mean, I've done similar things than before uh, on my YouTube channel and my viewers were doing the challenges, sending them in to me. And it's a fantastic community event and people love watching it, obviously. All that remains is to thank our players. Thanks to everyone watching today. Um, and thank you so much to the event organizer, Red Bull, for putting this all together. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.